Where were you both when the ruling came down? We were in my dining room uh, in my apartment, not too far from here. Uh, like everyone else, we had a bunch of laptops set up. Uh, and like everyone else in the country, we were logged on to SCOTUS blog uh, looking to see what would happen. We knew the court was going to announce the case that day. Uh, and we were really looking for three things. Um, we had done some analysis, and based on our analysis, uh, the only two judges who would be writing opinions that day would be the Chief Justice Roberts and Justice Kennedy. And we thought we would be in a better shape if Justice Kennedy wrote our opinion. So we were looking to see, one, opinion by Kennedy, two, that it was the first case of the day, uh, and three, when we saw dissent by Justice Scalia, we knew that we'd won, and that's when pandemonium broke out in the apartment. <laughs> well, Dipper, what was pandemonium then? What happened? Do you remember the moments after you saw the ruling? Oh, yes. Every, I think everyone in the room was crying and laughing. Uh, but everyone was crying, uh, no question. Okay. We were all deeply, deeply moved and, and delighted. Okay. Uh, and then the president called me. <laughs> yeah, so tell me about this, because it's, it's not every day that the president that of the is United great, States he is the phone. <laughs> gives you a call. Uh, what did he have to say? Uh, actually, uh, he thanked me. Okay, he thanked me for what I had done. And uh, I, what really happened is that they told me he was going to be calling. And, uh, and, but I assumed when they handed me the phone that, that it would be an aide who would then, you know, say, okay, I have her on the phone. And it, that's all I said. So he said, do I have any with her? And I said, yes, may I ask who I'm talking to? And he said, Barack Obama, <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> you know. uh, and uh, the, so first of all, I thanked him, because I thought, I thought his role, I don't know about the legal case, okay. I thought his role with, with the whole population of the United States, I thought the way that that suddenly we had a majority of people who wanted us to have it. I thought that came from him. Okay. Uh, Why do you think it came from him? Because, because he said he changed, he changed his position. He gave great reasons for changing his position. And, uh, and he announced that he was in favor of, of equality for us and, uh, and announced it publicly. And a great many people live by what the president says. It's like people live with what, with what the Pope says. She wasn't there when the ruling came down. She'd passed. Was there an absence? Were you, did you feel that when June 26th happened? What, the absence of Leah? Oh, of course. Of course. I still I feel it all the time. Uh, I mean, my life goes on in many ways, and, I, and, you know, and I'm not thinking about it every minute or every day. But uh, I'm, I constantly go looking to tell her something Something exciting has happened. You know, I'm looking to. Uh, I mean, I literally walk into a room before I, you know, realize what I'm doing. Uh, what do you think she would have made of it all? She would love it. <laughs> she would just love it. Okay, she loved it when I was out there. You know. Uh, well, how did you know that she was the one? Tell me about that moment where you met her. <laughs> I I don't know how you know. I I don't know. The, you know, the kids ask, all ask me that now. You know, I'm, I'm the suddenly the. The, the smart person about these things, yeah. and uh, and I don't know, you know. I it is. Did you know okay, that, that your spouse was was the one? I, yeah, I mean, I, I did. Okay, I did. Okay, I dug her. I thought she I was did. great. I thought she was beautiful. I thought she was all kinds of things. Uh, uh, she was slower to to, to want me. Uh, uh, and had to yeah, she, the answer is Edie had to pursue Thea. Which yeah, is the okay. Truth. And, uh, and, and, and actually, when she was close to dying, she said to me, we're so lucky, okay, that we're still in love. And, uh, and I said, you're lucky. I was persistent. I would say that um, at a certain point where treatments began to become available in the late 80s and the early 90s, uh, which was really uh, the height of the epidemic and loss of life in New York, um, there was really a sense, of course, of the ongoing tragedy and loss.